Doremus. Thank you, Ann Ivory. I always get kind of nervous when people call me an institution. <laughs> Welcome to Juneteenth celebration. This, of course, is June the 20th, but people celebrate this holiday on various days. This whole week, there are celebrations in various parts of the country. On June the 19th, 1865, Union General Gordon Granger landed in Galveston, Texas. That was where it began. Galveston is a seaport famous for cotton, shrimp, and slaves. He had 2,000 men with him, and that's how he was able to enter Texas and bring some surprising news. If you know anything about Texas history, you know it was completely dominated during the war by the, Confederate, by the Confederacy. So there was no way anybody was getting into Texas with any kind of information about slavery or anything else. But on June 19th, General Granger came in and he brought his men with him. And he told the people, and he delivered some amazing news to the people of Texas, 250,000 of whom were enslaved at that time. They were actually freed under the Emancipation Proclamation, but they didn't know it. Uh, I can just imagine what that day was like for many people. Uh, there's no actual historical evidence that the Emancipation Proclamation was read in Galveston. But General Granger issued General Order Number 3, in which he told the people about emancipation. In General Order Number 3, he encouraged them to stay where they were and work for wages. But not all of them took his advice, as you can imagine. Some did stay, some left, some, some danced, some sang, some prayed, uh, some took the, took the clothes they had on uh, uh, off and ran into the big houses or whatever and got some other clothes to put on. I mean, you talk about a party. They had a party that day on June uh, the 19th in 1865. Uh, the general order was probably read in more than one location. Uh, general Granger and or his representatives probably went to some black churches and also read the proclamation. But in a few hours, word had gotten around and people were busy with the task of changing their lives. Uh, today I